Hey everybody, happy Thursday! Right now I am washing my bathroom rugs and I'm about to heat up my leftover dinner from last night. It's so good. It's so good. I keep it in this little microwavable bowl that I got at the Dollar Tree. These are so wonderful. Perfect little size. I mean, the lids don't always fit perfectly. I mean, but it does the job. Um, but here's dinner. I had meatballs last night with rice and peas and corn, and I chopped up my balls and I mixed it all up with that goodness. So it's just like a big bowl of I don't know. I don't know what you call it. Mess. It's just a mess. And then I have the Johnny's super hot firecracker bourbon sauce on top. So anyway, this will be my lunch. I'm going to make Daryl fend for himself tonight because it's 2 o'clock. I'm not going to be hungry for dinner. Or I'll make him a quesadilla and he can have like chips and salsa and guacamole whatever I got it at um, a Christmas a Christmas festival um, last year and it is so good I don't know where you can get this stuff I don't know if it's sold here in Salt Lake or or what but I'm gonna find it because it is so good and this one, it's the firecracker, super hot one. And they had another one that wasn't hot, and it was, but it's just so good. These sauces, I thought it was a whiskey or a bourbon sauce, maybe not. I think it is. I don't know. I'll just try to show you what the con condiments are in my fridge. See, this is a maple bourbon. This is by Jim Beam. This I got at Walmart, and it's good. It says barbecue sauce, but it's not hickory at all. It's just sweet and saucy. Like me. Here it is. I didn't warm it up. I only warmed it up for 30 seconds, but that's hot enough for me. Mm -mm. And you know I have to sit in here and eat it on my bed, because that's just how I roll. And... Here is the start of my Halloween scarf. I unraveled it because sometimes, like, I'll start it and then I'll stop. And then when I start again, I'll make it a little bit tighter. And so it, it doesn't, it kind of like, I don't know, it doesn't look good. And so even the slightest tightness, I will undo it and start over to the point where, you know, like, it used to be up to here, but I haven't raveled about this much. No, no, no. Because it was just starting to get too tight. Yep. So let's finish lunch. I just left the Dollar Tree. They had all of their cute Halloween stuff up, finally. So I just did a car haul. So you'll have to watch it. Okay, everybody. We're here at Harmon's. We're going to see if the Halloween stuff is up yet. I'm excited.
gosh, did you see all that fun stuff at the Harmons? I knew it was going to be so cute. And I knew it was going to be all retro, old school. Oh my gosh, it was so fun. But everything was so expensive. There was a fabric pumpkin for $13. I don't think so. I didn't even really want anything. If something goes on sale, which usually I do put some of that stuff on sale later on. I might pick something up, but really there wasn't anything I really wanted. I just have so much Halloween stuff, so if there's just something that's really spectacular, awesome, and fairly inexpensive that I don't have that I just have to have, then maybe I'll grab it, you know, but there was nothing there that I wanted or needed, and I wouldn't have had anywhere to put anything, so it was fun to just finally get to see it. I was all filming it and this lady was walking behind me with her cart. She was an older lady and she was just waiting for me to finish because she didn't want to get near me and I was like crap. So I was kind of felt, I kind of felt obligated to just hurry along so I wouldn't make her wait. But it was all good. My car says 100 degrees and it ain't lying. I am about to chop up my white flesh peach. It's nice and ripe. And so is its partner. So I'm gonna cut these up and put them in this bowl and eat some. They are just so wonderful, you guys. White flesh peaches are the best. All right, I decided to eat the other one tomorrow. Oh, you guys. Oh. It is straight up sugar. So juicy. So sweet. I can't stand it. Mmm. Mmm. I wish I could just share some with you. It's so juicy that it almost chokes me. I don't know about you, but I like to eat my, oh, I dropped one in the sink. I like to eat my peaches at room temperature. Last time I cut them all up, put them in the fridge, and they were still good, but they're just better when they're room temperature. Mmm. You know what's so good? If I had some, take some half and half, pour it in the bowl with your peaches. Heaven. And then when your peaches are all gone, drink up the half and half and it's so sweet and tastes like peaches. It's amazing. My mom used to love half and half. She would buy half and half, eat it on her cereal. She loved it. She put it in anything that she could. She was always so bony that it didn't bought it didn't matter. She never gained any weight. If I get half and half I'm going to be weighing like a ton and a half by the time I'm through with the carton. So I never buy half and half and I never buy whipped cream. Mm. I mean not the kind that you have to whip yourself. I'll buy a can of whipped cream. I'll eat a bunch of cookies. I'll eat a bunch of chips and a bunch of candy, and a bunch of cake, and whatnot, but I won't eat, I won't eat half and half, or real whipping cream. It's just too fattening.
time, everybody. Welcome. Um, I don't know where the cat is, and I'm about to get in the shower, and so I just didn't even bother to call out for her to come into the closet because she's been being a diva and just sort of ignoring me lately when it comes to the closet. So I did not go for my walk. I just kind of had a, a little tummy ache again tonight. And so I feel completely better now, of course, now that it's too late. But um, that's all right. And I thought, well, maybe I'll go on the treadmill. That way, if I get sick or whatever, I can just already be home. I can just walk upstairs and... But I didn't even want to do that. I just laid on the bed and scrolled through my phone and watched TV. So, I figured I would hurry. I do closet time before I got in the shower so that I could at least be a little easier on the eyes. Um, I didn't have dinner tonight. I, I'm just not hungry. I wasn't hungry tonight. So, um, I just had a few bites of yogurt. That Elanos yogurt, the vanilla one, I, it was in my little, well actually it was in my vlog yesterday. It was good. It's good. It's good. It's good. So I just ate half of that and I, I, like two pieces of lunch meat. I just wasn't very hungry. And then Daryl, he fended. He had his, the rest of his pepperoni and some pasta salad that I bought at the store yesterday and some chips and bread. That's his staple fend meal, which is good for me. I don't care. I'm just going to have to search high and low for some pepperoni. Usually, well not usually, most often Walmart will have it, even if Harmon's doesn't have the pepperoni. I hear there's a pepperoni shortage. Who knew? It's like, are, are people wiping their butts with pepperoni nowadays? I, I, I don't understand. It's like Clorox wipes, toilet paper, and pepperoni are all in high demand. I don't get it. But anywho, it's 8.15. Tomorrow's my birthday. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be 50. I remember when I turned 40, it wasn't as bad as turning 30. When I turned 30, I started crying because I'm like, okay, I'm out of my 20s. I'm a full grown adult, even though you are like when you're 18. I wasn't in my 20s anymore. I was like 30 years old, like on my way to being old. I cried. And then 40 rolled around and I was like, meh. But now I'm flipping 50. I'm half of 100 years old. I'm a 50 cent piece. I just don't think I'm ready for it. And all year long, I've been saying, yeah, I'm 50 years old. <laughs> I could have been saying, I'm 49, which basically I was saying I was 40. But every now and then, I kept, I kept thinking I was 50 already. I do that all the time. Like next year, I'll be saying, yeah, I'm 51, <laughs> and I'll only be 50. <sighs> oh, man. Oh, well. It is what it is. So, um, we'll either go to Tempanyaki for dinner or we'll go to Sakana. And I can't figure out which one I want the most, so I don't know. And our friends might go with us if they can. So that would be fun. Otherwise, it's just going to be a little, small little get-together with just our friends that we always go to dinner with. Or just, it'll just be Daryl and myself, so. Anyway. 
thought, well, maybe I'll take a shower in the morning instead of tonight. Nah, that's not going to happen. I better just take it tonight because tomorrow I'll just lay around and then I'll never get in the shower and then... Um, I did a bad thing today. I ordered another pair of shoes. They're Clarks and they're kind of like a cloud stepper like this. They've got this sole, but they're more strappy and orthopedic looking. <laughs> hey man, I'm 50. I'm, I need the orthopedic shoes, especially for my back. But they're, they're ugly in a cute way. You know what I'm saying? I saw a friend of mine wear them. I saw a picture of her. She was in Europe and she wore these sandals walking around in Europe. And I thought, oh, those are so cute. I don't want Daryl to hear me because he'll be like, another pair of shoes. So anyway, and I I discovered that they were Clarks and they looked really cute and so comfortable to walk around Europe in. And so I actually tried them on Kohl's has them. Go figure. And of course they're super expensive at Kohl's. I think they're like normally a $50 sandal. Um, and at Kohl's, even on sale, they'd be like $35, $40, $45, but, so I never got them. But I tried them on, and they are so comfortable. Oh, they're even more comfortable than these. I mean, I guess they're the same thing, I don't know, but these are a flip-flop. You know, and I haven't even worn these, but maybe twice. These are just really flippy-floppy. I mean, I like them, but, but those sandals are just so comfortable. And now that I know that they feel good and they fit well, I went ahead and got them because on the Clark's website, they were on clearance and then you got like 40% off of that. So there was no shipping and handling, that's free. Tax was $1.75. So I got those sandals for $25 and change total. They'll be coming like on the 31st, so I have to wait a little while, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm so bad. I don't know why I'm freaking out. Daryl will see him eventually and he'll be like, Ew! Really? And why are you buying more shoes? So, <laughs> but I'll put a little picture of them up here. I mean, they're cute. They're just sort of grandma looking-y, but since my friend wore them, they didn't look grandma-ish on her, and I don't know. I like them, so. No offense to all the grandmas out there. I don't, you know, I don't mean it that way. Sorry. Please don't be offended that I said that about grandmas. Anyway. All right, well, I'm gonna get in the shower now and call it a night. I'm probably gonna crochet some more and enjoy my last few hours of being 49. All right, everybody. I'm not sure what tomorrow will bring, seeing as how it's my birthday. I don't know what I'll be doing. I, I hope to be vlogging um but we'll see and yeah i just love you and thanks for watching and i hope you had fun today and i hope you'll have a wonderful sleepy and we'll see you next time come on everybody it's amazing